Assalamu uh, alaikum. My name is Kiran Amir and I am the Director of Operations at Parsa Eco Pakistan Superhub. I would like to welcome you all to the webinar series on diabetes distress. Today's episode is on how to treat diabetes distress as a diabetologist. Before I hand over to Natalia for today's session's introductions, we have to go through some standard announcements. We are part of a global movement called Project ECHO based in USA with an objective to disseminate knowledge and best practices. Uh, we do uh, protect patient privacy, so none of it, the information used in this session will identify any individual or patient. For maintaining discipline, you all are muted, but we do encourage participation, so you can unmute yourself for questions or use the raised hand option or chat box. Uh, by participating, you have given the consent for recording and the recorded session will be available on our YouTube channel. Link will be shared in the chat box. For CME credits, please contact Uzair, our coordinator. His number is mentioned on the banner. CME credits are affiliated with Jinnah Sin Medical University. Uzair will share the Google form at the end of the session, which will be active for 12 hours. You are requested to fill it as soon as possible. Avail the opportunity of CME. For the convenience of the spokes, the session is bilingual. Uh, please speak in Urdu or English, whatever language you are comfortable in. Uh, Natalia, I will hand over to you now. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kiran. Uh, basically, we will start with uh, uh, Dr. Sman Musharraf. Uh, he will be joining soon. Uh, but before that, let me repeat. Uh, okay. Dr. Sman is here. Uh, Dr. Sman, can you hear us? Dr. Sman Musharraf, can you hear us? Ji. Uh, Dr. Sman, can you hear us? Ji, Assalamu alaikum, Natali. I can hear you. Yes. Can we start our session? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, first of all, a brief introduction of mine. I am Dr. Sman Musharraf, uh, and I am working as consultant endocrinologist at Allied Hospital Testabal. Uh, first of all, I am grateful to Feroz and Pharma for arranging a series of academic activities on diabetes distress. Today, we are having a second lecture of this series on diabetes distress. Uh, so let me introduce our two speakers. Our first speaker is uh, Dr. Oniba Sayyad. Dr. Oniba Sayyad is working as consultant endocrinologist, and she is currently the assistant professor of endocrinology at Alama Iqbal Medical College, Lahore. Our second speaker is Dr. Umar Wahab. Dr. Umar Wahab is uh, working as consultant diabetologist at Institute of Diabetes, Islamabad. So we are having a two renowned panel of experts. Our first panelist is Dr. Muhammad Imtiaz Hassan and Dr. Muhammad Imtiaz Hassan is uh, working as the medical director of Diabetes Institute of Pakistan. And our second panelist is Dr. Kazi Masroor. Dr. Kazi Masroor is ex a professor of medicine at Khaid Azam Medical College, uh, Bahawalpur. So I think without any delay, we uh, I will invite our first speaker, Dr. Niva Sayyid, to please start his talk on management of diabetes distress. Over to Dr. Niva Sayyid. Uh, Dr. Asman, we recorded uh, her uh, basically session because she wasn't available. She had to travel somewhere. So I'm playing her session uh, over here and uh, we can listen to her like this. Okay, please. Just wait. Natalia, we can't hear Dr. Oniva Sayyid. Can you please unmute her? 
really sorry let me uh, play it again I'm Dr. Deepa Singh and um, I'm working as an assistant professor of endocrinology in Islamic Department of Medicine in our hospital. All of you who have been uh, with us in this journey regarding diabetes distress, you actually know that in the previous, uh, our previous session, we did discuss what is diabetes distress and it is actually um, it's the emotional response of the person who's actually living with diabetes it is different from uh, as i explained in my previous lecture that it, this is different from uh, the depression it, it is most of most of the time the <clears throat> physicians as well as uh, the patients we do you know confuse it whether this is the same one and the same thing and i we, we really um, tried and we really, you know, uh, come to the point and to differentiate between what distress and uh, depression is. The other thing that we actually, um, I, I made the other points were that when patient has been just diagnosed that he has diabetes or when patient's uh, treatment is changed or when patient comes to know that despite working very hard for the treatment uh, and working very hard with the lifestyle modification and everything, still the blood sugar levels are not within the normal limit or he develops a new complication unfortunately these are the when patient is um, is the most prone to develop diabetes distress now today's session basically focuses on how to tackle it as far as we are concerned so let's start with what uh, we have today it's it's not a very um, not a very uh, long lecture or a very time consuming one, but however, each and every point is very important as far as our patients are concerned. Because, uh, you know, if you have that ability and empathy to communicate and to address what patient is going through, the same treatment that you have been given uh, previously would work wonders. So let's just see the most important point that I would like to make here is the effect of communication and engagement. So you seek to meet the person. It's very important. You meet the person when where they are in their life. Meet the person does not mean that he's just sitting there in your clinic and you're meeting. It's not that. It's it's sort of a thing that you need to put yourself into their shoes. What they are going to just have a you know have that empathy and realization of what they are going through how they are feeling whatever extent you can do that so this excuse, this would let you uh, you know to uh, actually talk to him at the same level and it would be better for both of them so you seek to meet the person where they are in their life rather than where you would like to okay or where you think you they should be or where you are so you know instead of like, telling them that, you know, about this bath to some snake up the sugar or the white sugar. That this is this is the thing that you want him to do. He should understand, he should the other point is that you you discuss, you see what is going through, you see and feel what that diagnosis of a chronic disease and that fear of complications and acute emergencies have uh, what impact does that have on you. So you meet the person where they are in their life, not you. Then active listening and open empathic communication. It can be verbal, it can be normal. The only thing that you have to do here is to let the patient know that I am listening to what you're saying. You know, I understand what you're saying. I, I know you are, you're going through a really hard thing. So these are the things that might take a minute. And if I tell somebody, I understand you're going through a very hard time. This must not be very easy for you. It took a few seconds, but it has, you know, it has created a very fine rapport with your patient. So, and then you listen. You don't bombard your patient with all sorts of knowledge that you have or all sorts of your personal opinion. Give him a little bit of time. Listen to what his concerns are. Or you can just ask, what are you worried about? What is your actual concern? And then you are in a position to address that. If the patient is not okay with, uh, you know, if there can be a patient who has, with the, with, he has a fear of prick, 
how would I man how how would I monitor my blood glucose level so often? And you do not know what the patient's concern is and what is disturbing the patient. You keep on telling the patient, "Hey, you have to do this, do this, do this, do this." That would not be effective. So let's let's just agree to this that you have to have an active listening, open empathy. Empathy is very important. Then you reflect on the proportion of consultation time that you spend talking rather than listening. Is the balance right? Very very important. I have seen and I've worked with the people who would look at the patient, especially when you're working. You know, it it, it applies to both when you're working in a public sector or private sector or your clinic. Patient would come. हाँ जी क्या हुआ है अच्छा ठीक है ये खाएं फिर मुझे पंद्रह दिन बाद दिखाइए और वन एक महीने बाद दिखाइए that patient will will probably be never satisfied and never be cured okay you'll never feel better because you have not listened this sometimes what happens is the patient would start मेरी सास ने मुझे ये कह दिया प्लाने ने मुझे ये कह दिया सुनो this is what we are living in this society we are part of this society we cannot pretend we are not so patient would start like this give him a minute वो घूम फिर के ही कम टू दैट पर्टिकुलर कंप्लेन दैट ही हैज ही इज नॉट फीलिंग वेल ही इज ऑलरेडी डिप्रेस इफ यू लेट देम टॉक यू विल सी दैट यू देयर विल बी एंड इफ द पेशेंट सीज दैट एंड वेथिक टू वर्ड्स एंड पेशेंट सीज दैट यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू विल सी दैट नो आई हैव सीन पेशेंट हु हैड क्राइड इन फ्रंट You must have seen that, but that requires your empathy and patient's impression that you are actually understanding it. And all of this, by doing all of this, what you are doing is that already a hard time that is going through. You are making it very easier to fight. You are basically providing him a power, a power to fight with whatever he is going through. Apart from all your other clinical, I am not talking about you know, with all your clinical expertise that you are doing with them, with investigations, with treatment, everything. You are tackling very nice, but this is. Communication skill is that you can learn. It is like riding a bicycle or a typing. If you're willing to work at it, you can rapidly improve the quality of every part of your life. Brian Tracy, it's a very, it's a very nice, um, you know, saying. It's it's a skill, and this skill starts with listening and not talking. If you're talking, that is not a communication. You know, you are just bombarding the patient with all sorts of information that you have and all sorts of expertise that you have. You listen to the patient. It's a communication is always two way. You need to guide the patient. Okay, so it's it's important that you listen first and then you give your opinion. Then um, it's just a little bit of uh, you know how how what is the difference? What difference can you create with an open empathic communication and close directive communication? So if there is an open empathic communication, you will increase. The trust, the trust of the patient in you as well. So there is increased trust in the health profession. The patient connects to you. The patient thinks that you have, you're listening to him. You understand him. You will do good for him. However, if it is a close direct communication, हाँ जी, भी भी बताएं क्या हुआ है, sort of thing. That we all of us have seen. We can't deny that. So that creates a mistrust, lack of confidence in the health professional. What happens is there is doctor shopping going on. One doctor, the other, the other. Most of them have similar acumen, but there's a change in the communication skill. The other thing is that um, the quacks they have very good communication. They they have very good communication. That is that is one of the reasons that you know patient might not go uh, to a very qualified consultant and go to a quack. Communication, there is increased knowledge, confidence, and self-efficacy, which is um, not present in the close direct communication, where there is, you know, they they won't um, they would they wouldn't want anything to do with you. The patient won't want anything to do with you, and he would. There is nobody to tell him. Better decision. Very important point. You tell a person you need an insulin. After the insulin, लगाने he will not because he is not convinced. Similarly, if you tell the patient, okay, मेरे ख्याल में ये 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 बजुहार हैं. 
because of these i think it's a better option however these can be another of these can other options however i as an expert think you need this insulin at the moment is it okay with you or do you have any concerns he will tell you i i do not i do not know mujhe samajh nahi aayi ki main laga nahi sakta mujhe points ka kaise pata chalega sugar kam to nahi ho jayegi you address that patient will say ji doctor sahab aap theek keh rahe hain write it down if you do not do that patient will say okay and he will never use that means be it insulin be it tablets if he is not convinced he will not use it he will uh, in a sense of uh, power a sense of uh, you know willingness to go ahead and fight with whatever it is now there is increased motivation which is not there with close directive communication there is personalized care plans which can be uh, you know discussed then there is increased engagement with self care activities patient would uh, be more engaged with the self care activities like medication taking and uh, you know uh, With the close communication, he would he probably would take one tablet TDS like you have prescribed, but there would be an active disregard of your other advices that you have given me and your recommendation. He will not you know he will not bother because you did not bother. Then there is increased satisfaction uh, with the health professional system, and and if there is something that goes wrong, it might. With everything, everybody, it can go. Something can go wrong. Patient will overlook. No, no. Doctors, you are so good. Sometimes it happens. However, if you are not nice, and if you are doing very good, a little minute complaint or negligence can become, you know, a goal of like mountain of a mountain. You know, it will be not that much big uh, thing, but it will become big thing because you did not make a good impression as far as being empathetic is concerned. then uh, when you discuss openly you know what you are expecting okay patient knows what you are expecting you do not have unrealistic expectations which can be uh, in case of close directed communication because you did not address to that you did not have a time you did not have that skill you did not communicate effectively you do not tell the patient not to uh, have unrealistic expectations out of anything it's not that aaj aap ek ko dikha rahe the patient will have this in his mind ke nahi ab to maine nahi goli shuru kiya should be very well on the other hand if you have discussed that tablet would take this much of a time this much of a change this much of you know this is how it functions he will have a realistic to take sense of things then reduced error and mistakes if you are effectively communicating you are understanding his point of view obviously he he will be talking at this different level of perception inject with an insulin syringe so patient uh, we, we did have communication but i i forgot to tell him ki janab insulin syringe gave ek choti line do units ke mutabik so i did not tell him that patient that ke utne hi unit lagane se meri blood sugar level ko bahut kam how and then i had a uh, you know a bigger session when i sat with him and talked so ye to nahi hua ye to nahi hua khana ka at the time me kitna lagaya and i figured out exactly negation and alhamdulillah he did not you know there was not no side effect of that he was fine but this is when you if you communicate i make sure that i tell every patient in this stage that this is how they are going to check and how they are going to calculate so this is when you when you have a close directive you kitne laga le okay so coming to the uh, next slide facing life with diabetes um, okay let's let's just some up sort of reflect on how you might feel if you had to live with diabetes it is so important and it's not just that you have to live with diabetes you know uh, 
I uh, I would I would quote my own example. I had I I had a chest infection. I was facing with a low respiratory tract infection. I had to take medicines and I was febrile and there were a few other issues. So I was taking quite a few uh, medications. And during that, what I felt it, it, it's it's some time back. So during that, what I felt was that the diabetic patient is taking one to two oral drug and he might be taking insulin, then he's taking statin, then probably the hyperlipidemia will statin later and hypertension will he's taking some drug. He's taking from neuro for neuropathy. If he's taking for gastrophysis, so how much of a pill burden it is? And I was, you know, not okay taking very few drugs for very few days when I know that this thing will go away. How my patients feel? That thing, when it struck me, I was very much, you know, aware of uh, the thing, the, the, the distress patient must be going through. So, you really need to reflect what is it? It's not just diabetes. I've written diabetes here, but it's not, not just diabetes. Just any any disease that you go through, every one of us, we, we do have, you know, this is a part of life. So if you're not okay, unfortunately, and you're taking some drugs, just see how you feel. And then, alhamdulillah, you have to take it for a few days and you'll be fine, absolutely. And then there is a patient who has to take like five times more drugs and he knows that he has to keep doing it for all of his life. So the thing is that if you cannot change that, you can change a little bit of his feeling and you can, you know, uh, decrease or lessen a little bit of distress just by just by communication and empathy. Which is I am taking. I am taking. The next speaker will be uh, much more effective telling me more things. Then be mindful that a new diagnosis can raise a range of emotions for a person. Anybody of us. So tell somebody that this might. You give a CBC. You know, if you have you have a fever and you give a simple test of CBC, tell the time you get the report. Uh, dengue na ho, anemia na ho. You know, you come up with a lot of because you know the diagnosis and then you are you have that anxiety. And then you come out with, if, if, if it's fine, you're fine. But if something is not fine with the person who is not okay or the person who's diabetic, and he has just got a new diagnosis, it must be a lot, a lot of stress, I'm sure. And his whole life is, you know, his whole life is sort of changing. His lifestyle is changing. His eating habits are changing. He's bound for some things not to eat. And he might, he might be very fond of some things he has to eat. It's a big, big emotional turmoil that he has to go through. You should listen empathy. Very empathy. empathy is it can't be um, you know it's where you cannot be discussed with. You assess the person and assure them that you give them to live well with the day. Key point one word if you want me to say is empathy. So uh, I thank you here and um, I'll let my moderator uh, to take uh, the session onwards. I thank you all for it. Uh, thank you, Dr. Onivas, for such a nice talk. Uh, now uh, it's time for our second um, second presentation, and Dr. Over to Dr. Umar Wahab for our second talk on diabetes distress. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me again. Uh, so I'm here. Uh, uh, I would like if uh, committee तरफ से जो है ये प्रेजेंटेशंस अगर आपके पास आ रही हो प्लीज कोई इसको डील कर ले बिकॉज़ जो मुझे टाइम दिया गया था दैट वाज 4 पीएम सो आई एम आउटसाइड नाउ आई डोंट हैव द प्रेजेंटेशन सो अगर प्लीज आपके पास प्रेजेंटेशन हो तो प्लीज आप लगा दें थैंक यू सो व्हाट इज um um seven a model to treat diabetes distress you know i have already discussed earlier on in my earlier presentation about you should be aware of uh, the patients having diabetes distress and then you should ask the patient about it and then then you should assess the patient and then you should advise the patient either you should assign the patient or you should assist the patient as well and then arrange the um, follow up as well 
So these A's are so important in having uh, diabetes, distress to be dealt about. So patient ko aap jo hai, kaise jo hai, dekh rahe honge? As far as healthcare professional is concerned, usko pata hona chahiye ke patient jab unke um, saamne baitha hai, to kya puchna hai unse? So, पेशेंट को या पहले हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल को अवेयर करना है कि डायबिटीज डिस्ट्रेस उसको है भी कि नहीं है फिर उसके बाद उससे कुछ चीजें पूछनी है जिसमें आपने एक किस्म का जो है क्वेश्चनर जो है वो डेवलप करना है जो उससे पेशेंट से जो ही चीजें पूछेंगे एंड देन फिर एडवाइस के बाद आएगी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज So, what should be the advice? So, explain what is diabetes, distress, and that many people with diabetes experience it. Kitne log is cheez ke aapke saamne jahe? I used to see a lot of patients who humare saamne log aare hote hain. Uchi log ke baare mein aware nahi hote hain. Unko diabetes itself kitni zada hai kisam ki. एंजाइटी जो है वो कॉज कर चुकी हुई है कि लोग ये समझते हैं कि दिस इज द एंड ऑफ देयर लाइफ सो एक्सप्लेन द साइंस एंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ ऑल दिस डायबिटीज से रिलेटेड जो प्रॉब्लम्स है उनकी जो इंपैक्ट पड़ता है ऑन डेली एंड सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट एंड द वेलबीइंग एक्नॉलेज द सिग्निफिकेंट डेली एफर्ट्स व्हाट आर द रिक्वायर्ड टू मैनेज देयर डायबिटीज this is by itself may reduce the um, distress um, problem as well normalize negative emotions about and diabetes ab ye kaise hoga ye sari cheeze aap patient ko jo hai wo comfort level jo hai wo jab denge aur patient se baat karenge patient should be open up पेशेंट को आपने वो उस किस्म का माहौल देना है कि पेशेंट जो है वो आपके साथ चीजों को डिस्कस करना जो है वो स्टार्ट करे एंड एंड द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू कि पेशेंट जब आपके सामने आए पेशेंट से आप ये पूछें डायबिटीज चले हो गई आप इसके बारे में क्या समझते हैं आप उनसे पूछना जो है वो स्टार्ट करें अपनी जो बातें हैं वो थोड़ी सी जो है उसको मिनिमम करें और जो उनसे जो वो फील करते हैं उनसे उनके एक्सप्रेशन उनकी फीलिंग्स उनसे जो है वो जब तक आप उन चीजों को उनसे नहीं निकलवाएंगे शायद वो चीजें आप उनकी हल नहीं कर पाएंगे नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो इफ अ पर्सन इज अनसेल्फ ब्लेमिंग अब ये अनसेल्फ ब्लेमिंग क्या चीज है पेशन हमें कहता है देखें जब से मुझे शुगर हुई तो मैं किसी काम करने के जो है काबिल नहीं रहा या मैं जो काम करता हूँ वो बिल्कुल उस जैसा नहीं होता जैसे मेरी जो है रिक्वायरमेंट है या मैं अपने काम में सेटिस्फेक्शन को फील नहीं कर पा रहा सो फिर इसके बारे में आपने पेशेंट से जो है उसका आउटकम जो उनकी जिंदगी में जो रिफ्लेक्शन पड़ता है वो चीजों को अच्छा या बुरे की तरफ जो है वो लेके चलता है we can't hear dr uh, umar dr umar we can't hear you can you hear us natalia can you hear dr uh, dr umar wahab uh, no i can't i'm talking to him just a minute okay
Okay, there's some uh, connection problem. Uh, let me sort it out. All right. जी अभी आवाज आ रही है आपको जी जी डॉक्टर उमर प्लीज प्लीज स्टार्ट और प्लीज कंटिन्यू जी जी जय अरे लो बोलो जय सी यहां पर कुछ वो थोड़े से इश्यूज आए थे तो उसमें जो है ब्रेक हो गया अच्छा आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट के आपने उसको अपॉर्चुनिटीज वो देनी है यू शुड आस्क द क्वेश्चंस और उनसे जो है एक किस्म की जो है डिस्कशन जो है उसको स्टार्ट करना है कि वो उसके अंदर फीलिंग्स क्या है और उसको क्या चीज हॉन्ट करती है डायबिटीज डिस्ट्रेस की जो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है कि आपने उनके अंदर की फीलिंग्स को अंडरस्टैंड करके उस चीज को हल करना है एंड मेक अ जॉइंट प्लान यू नो आपने पेशेंट से पूछना है कि व्हाट यू वांट और उसके मुताबिक आपने अपने स्टेप्स लेकर उस चीज को उस ताकि उसको ये महसूस हो कि यू आर एक्चुअली उसको जो सपोर्ट की जरूरत है वो उसको मिल रही है नेक्स्ट स्टेप नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सो the next step is to assist our assign so people with diabetes who experience the psychological problems often prefer to talk about this with their diabetes healthcare professionals or the gp rather than with the mental health specialist so there are a lot of occasions when you need to refer the patient to another healthcare um, प्रोफेशनल एज वेल और वो किन चीजों पर डिपेंड करते हैं देखिए आपने अगर उस पेशेंट को ये देखा यू हैव आस्क द क्वेश्चंस पेशेंट हैव ओपन अप और आपके साथ ये डिस्कस किया कि उनकी कुछ साइकोलॉजिकल इश्यूज हैं लाइक उनकी फैमिली मैटर्स हैं या कुछ और इश्यूज जो है वो चल रहे हैं डिप्रेशन है एनजाइटी है या आप ये समझते हैं कि शायद आपसे बेहतर को बीच में और हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल अगर बीच में इन्वॉल्व किया जाएगा तो वो इसकी प्रॉब्लम्स को ज्यादा हल कर पाएगा देन यू नीड टू रेफर द पेशेंट ताकि वो बीच में एक थर्ड पार्टी भी इन्वॉल्व हो ताकि उनको उनकी उनकी चीजों को हल किया जा सके एंड इफ यू थिंक अबाउट कि आपकी ये नॉलेज और स्किल्स और ये कॉन्फिडेंस इतना नहीं आ रहा कि आप इन, इन, इन जो प्रॉब्लम है या पेशेंट ओपन अप नहीं हो पा रहा आपसे और यू स्टिल यू फील कि वो डिस्ट्रेस में चल रहा है देन यू हैव टू रेफर द पेशेंट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज सो इफ यू बिलीव द रेफरल टू अनदर हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल इज नीडेड सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू एक्सप्लेन योर रीजंस फर्स्ट देखिए आप पेशेंट आपके सामने है आपने उससे सारी हिस्ट्री ली पेशेंट ओपन अप हुआ मगर स्टिल यू फील कि देर इज समथिंग जो पेशेंट आपसे शायद हाइड करना चाह रहा है मगर और शायद कोई ऐसी फीमेल पेशेंट है जो शायद आपको नहीं बताना चाह रही और आप उनको किसी हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल जो कि ये फीमेल हो उसके पास शायद ये भिजवाना चाहे तो ज्यादा ओपन अप कर सकेगी मगर आपने ये रीजन बताने ठीक है आप जो है 
जहां तक हो सकता है हम अपनी तरफ से जो कोशिश भी कर रहे हैं मगर शायद आपको किसी एक और प्रोफेशनल साइकोलॉजिस्ट की जरूरत है या फिर इसमें किसी और फीमेल डॉक्टर को हमने ऐड करना या मेल डॉक्टर को ऐड करना अगर कोई फीमेल है तो इसलिए फिर हम उनके पास आपको जो है वो रेफर कर रहे हैं ताकि चीजों को हल किया जा सके और आप इससे क्या गेन करेंगी ये भी आपने पेशेंट को जो है वो बेसिकली एजुकेट या कौंसिल करना होगा ताकि पेशेंट को ये पता हो कि मैं अगर किसी और के पास जाऊंगी तो मेरा उसमें से क्या चीज उसमें क्या चीज इम्प्रूव हो सकती है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड then you have to assist your patient you might have to ask the questions to inform the action plan action plan mas kabhi bhi koi bhi improvement agar kisi cheez mein aapko jo hai wo chahiye ho to aapne agli party ke sath jo hai wo cheezon ko pehle jo hai discuss karna hoga ki aap ye hum cha rahe hain hum ye jo hai karna hi cha rahe hain aur isse aapki zindagi mein kafi improvement aayegi it's and uh, sound like you are um, uh, struggling with um, several aspects of your diabetes care which of these would you like to most ask mujhe kya puchna chahenge you you said you feel angry and um, guilty is kisam ke kuch jo have um, sawal agar patient ki taraf se aa rahe hain to aap le puchna hai ki could you tell me what exactly make you feel um, this way आपने उनको कोई बार बार एक बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ कि आपने उस पेशेंट को कंफर्ट जोन में लेकर आना है डायबिटीज इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम कि जो शायद मेडिकेशन से हल हो जाए अकेले डायबिटीज इज अ प्रॉब्लम जिसमें आपके इमोशंस जो है वो इन्वॉल्व होते हैं जिसमें आपकी फैमिली मैटर करती है जिसमें आपकी फाइनेंस मैटर करता है जिसमें एवरीज एंड एवरी स्टेप चाहे वो घर हो घर से बाहर हो आप पेशेंट की सेक्सुअल लाइफ हो उसके बच्चे हो उसके एजुकेशन हो हर चीज डायबिटीज इमोशंस के साथ जो है वो चल रही होती है इस लाइफ के आपकी जिंदगी जो गुजारने का तरीका कार है उसको इम्प्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है इसमें हम पेशेंट से ये सवाल जब तक नहीं करेंगे तो वो पेशेंट हमें नहीं बता पाएगा चीजों को सो so, हमें एक्सप्लोर वो करना है सेल्फ मैनेजमेंट के टास्क से उसके आउटकम से ताकि उन वो जो उनकी फीलिंग्स हैं उसको इंप्रूव किया जा सके नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आप पेशेंट आपको अगर ये बता रहे हैं कि यस आई हैव यू हैव इंडिकेटेड दैट यू हैव कंसर्न अबाउट दी कॉम्प्लिकेशंस और ये डेवलप होने जो है वो जा रहे हैं कुछ टेल मी अपेट मोर अबाउट योर कंसर्न्स आप रिगार्डिंग जो है जो इनकी कॉम्प्लिकेशन है लाइक नेफ्रोपैथी है डायबिटीज से रिलेटेड रेटिनोपैथी है या न्यूरोपैथी है उसके बारे में आप उनसे जो है वो पेशेंट से पूछना चाहेंगे कि उनके अंदर कौन सा ये खौफ है जो ये चीजों को शायद अंडरस्टैंड और अच्छे तरीके से जो करना चाहे मैं आपकी हेल्प कर सकता हूँ उसमें एंड द पेशेंट का जो रिस्पॉन्स है विल हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई अनरियलिस्टिक्स अनरियलिस्टिक बहुत सी कंसर्न हमारे पास आते हैं लाइक like मैं अगर आपके साथ एक चीज को जो है ये मैं डिस्कस करूँ कि मेरे पास पेशेंट अगर आते हैं वो ये समझते हैं कि डायबिटीज हमें होगी एंड वेन आई टोल्ड डेम की शुड बी ऑन इंसुलिन तो पेशेंट ऑलवेज Thought about यार इंसुलिन इज द लास्ट ट्रीटमेंट रिजीम इसके बाद तो जिंदगी खत्म हो गई अब तो जो है वो डॉक्टर ने इंसुलिन एडवाइस कर दी तो अब मेरी जिंदगी के कुछ साल बच गए तो ये चीजें जो जो इस किस्म के अंडरस्टैंड जो अनरियलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स हैं या जो मिथ्स हैं या जो स्टिगमाज हैं इसको रिमूव करने के लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि जो हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल है वो पेशेंट को या जो ऐसा पर्सन जो कि ये चीजों को ये आ, गलत अंडरस्टैंड जो है कर रहा है उसको ये एजुकेट करे कि ये ऐसा नहीं होगा यस yes. फिर उसके बारे में अब आप, आपने उसको ये कैसे कहना है क्योंकि इंसुलिन हमारे से पहले लोग जो यहाँ पर हुआ करते थे वो इंसुलिन एडवाइस बिल्कुल एंड स्टेज पर करते थे उसके वजह से लोगों ने यह देखा कि जब वो एंड स्टेज पर इंसुलिन एडवाइस जो है वो की जाती है तो ऑर्गन के जो फेलियर है वो ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट हो चुकी होती है 
सो दो के चार पांच छह साल दस साल तक शादी उस के बाद फिर जो है इंसान की डेथ हो जाती है उसकी वजह से लोगों को लगता है कि इंसुलिन जो है ये चीज आपने उनको बतानी है कि इंसुलिन अगर हम आपकी सही टाइम पर स्टार्ट वो करेंगे तो आपके ऑर्गन्स आपकी आईज आपके गुर्दे आपके फाव आपके जितने भी जिसम के अजा हैं वो सारे जो है वो नॉर्मल रहेंगे तो इसलिए जितने भी जो मिथ्स हैं कॉम्प्लिकेशन से रिलेटेड उनको पेशेंट को एजुकेट करना जो है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज अच्छा इसमें एक चीज में आपको जो है एक चीज जो है वो रहेगी यू फील दैट यू आर नॉट गेटिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम योर पार्टनर आर फैमिली या फ्रेंड्स इस दिस द ओवरऑल फीलिंग ये पूछना जरूरी होता है आई एम आल्सो रनिंग अ फाउंडेशन जो के जिसमें हमारे पास एक ही प्रोग्राम है फॉर टाइप वन के ऊपर टाइप वन की स्पेशली हमें शायद उन छोटे जो बच्चे बच्चे हैं उनको टाइप वन मोस्टली होती है तो उसके साथ हमें जो फैमिली है उनको एजुकेट करना जो है वो काफी इंपॉर्टेंट होता है क्योंकि उनकी जो फैमिली या फ्रेंड्स हैं उनको तो कुछ अंदाजा नहीं है कि ये बच्चा या बच्ची जो है वो इंसुलिन क्यों लगा रही है तो वो एक ही जो है ये समझते हैं जैसे ये अब जैसे मेरे पास कुछ दिन पहले ये फैमिली आई टाइप वन बच्ची थी और शी वॉज डायबिटिक फॉर द लास्ट ऑलमोस्ट एट ईयर्स उसकी जो है वो शादी का अभी जो है वो टाइम आया और उसके पेरेंट्स भी आए और जहां पर उसकी शादी करनी थी उनको भी वो लेकर आए बिकॉज आई टोल टाइम के उनको भी लेकर आओ उनके उनके जो जो जहन है उसमें ये चीज चल रही होती है कि टाइप वन अगर किसी को है तो उनके आगे जाके जो है बच्चों में भी आ जाएगा और इसके साथ शायद शादी के बाद ये बच्चे होंगे या नहीं होंगे तो ये चीजें बड़ी जो है वो अंडरस्टैंड करने वाली हैं और इसमें फिर एजुकेशन और अवेयरनेस का रोल जो है वो काफी ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है सो so, खौफ की फजा से निकालने के लिए आपको पेशेंट के लिए जो पीयर सपोर्ट ग्रुप्स हैं उसको इनिशिएट वो करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और ये पीयर सपोर्ट जो ग्रुप्स हैं ये बेसिकली इसलिए बनाए जाते हैं ताकि मुख्तलिफ जो बच्चे या बच्चियां इसके अंदर हैं उनकी फैमिलीज आपस में इंटरेक्ट करें उनके उनके स्कूल एजुकेशन जो है वो बीच में इन्वॉल्व की जाती है ताकि स्कूलों तक ये बात पहुंचे और ये और उन चीजों उस एनवायरमेंट को बताया जाए कि अगर किसी को कुछ हाइपोग्लासीमिया या फिर हाइपर अगर हो रहा है तो उसको कैसे मैनेज किया जा सकता है और ये अंडरस्टैंड कराने के लिए बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें हैं सो टू अरेंज अब क्या अरेंज करना टू फॉलो अप दी कॉन्टैक्ट यू हैव टू आस्क दी ओपन एंडेड अब ओपन एंडेड जो है कौन से ये क्वेश्चन होते हैं लाइक last time we talked about what you feel and you are hand with all the tasks you have to do in managing your diabetes he agreed on making a couple of changes to your management and the lifestyle how has this worked out for you humne last time jo meeting ki thi तो हमने आपसे आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग के साथ कुछ चीजें इनिशिएट की थी तो आप क्या समझते हैं कि कि समझते हैं कि वो जो हमने आपके अंदर वो चेंजेस लेकर आए थे उसकी कितनी परसेंट इम्प्रूवमेंट आपने हुई है सो so, मैं अपने पेशेंट से ये परसेंटेज के हिसाब से ये पूछ लेता हूँ कि यू कैन ग्रेड फ्रॉम टेन टू हंड्रेड परसेंट में आप बता दें कितनी परसेंट हुई है फिर उसके मुताबिक उसमें कुछ चेंजेस की जाती है ताकि टू एक्सप्लोर कि इसके अंदर क्या ऑब्स्टिकल्स आ रहे थे क्या इश्यूज थे कंसर्न्स क्या थे और क्या हम और चेंजेस जो है कर सकते हैं टू इम्प्रूव द लाइफ ऑफ द पेशेंट एंड देन यू कैन आस्क लास्ट टाइम वी टॉक्ट अबाउट यू सीइंग अ डायबिटिक स्पेशलिस्ट यस अब अब हम ये पूछ सकते हैं जैसे हमने आपको कहीं पर रेफर किया था लाइक एजुकेशनिस्ट को रेफर किया था या साइकोलॉजिस्ट को रेफर किया था तो उसकी रेफरल की वजह से आप क्या फील करते हैं कि इम्प्रूवमेंट इज देयर और नॉट तो ये चीजें जो है आपने पेशेंट से पूछनी है ताकि पेशेंट की लाइफ को इम्प्रूव जो है किया जा सके उनके अंदर के जो कंसर्न्स हैं उसको एड्रेस किया जा सके नेक्स्ट स्लाइड 
यू कैन आस्क दिंग टाइप ऑफ जो कि मैंने शायद आपको बता भी दी कि हैज दिस बी हेल्पफुल इफ यस यस आप क्या समझते हैं वो कैसे इफ नो देन क्या चेंजेस की जाए इसके साथ और देन विच चेंजेस यू वॉन्ट जो इसमें होनी चाहिए जो आपके लिए बेसिकली हेल्पफुल हो हाउ डू फील अबाउट योर डेली ब्लड ग्लूकोज के जो लेवल्स हैं वो कैसे रहने ऑलवेज आज के पेशेंट के आप अपने एस एम बी जी को नोट करते रहे क्योंकि एच बी एम सी जो है वो शायद बहुत सी कंडीशन में इतना ज्यादा जो है वो रिलायबल नहीं होता जितना एस एम बी जीज होती हैं सो एस एम बी जीज के साथ उनका कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल जो है वो काफी इंक्रीज करता है एंड यू आर हैप्पी विदीज टाइप ऑफ चेंजेस बट वी डेट फॉर यू एंड वी हैव टू एक्सप्लोर द रिस्पॉन्स and how do you feel about the changes is sare wo questions hain jo shayad har koi puch bhi raha hota hai magar isme kuch time dena patient ko to overcome the diabetes um, distress wo kafi important hai next slide 